MLP Digital Paint. Join me September 12th for a free virtual paint lesson. Bring a fresh new canvas, a white crayon, a denim looking acrylic color, and your regular art supplies. Last week on Instagram, we talked about seven different repel and resist techniques to help us prepare for this painting. Denim screens, back to school. Every year we assess our new need for denim and if we need to upcycle old pairs. We also know how to paint on denim, but do we know how to accessorize denim? There are ways to complement your denim look with glazed walls or a denim watercolor technique. This week we're going to discuss several repel and resist techniques. To keep it simple, grab a crayon or wax and place some on your canvas. Paint a little bit over it. What happens? They say that oil and water don't mix, but they do keep their integrity. Therein lies the beauty. The idea of resist and repel techniques is to let the materials do the work for you. Add just a little food coloring to some vegetable oil and pour a thin layer over some water. Place a sheet of paper or a note card, watercolor or cardstock over the mixture. You'll have what the Japanese and the Turkish have been doing for centuries, and they call it marbleizing. With just a simple Google search, you'll find all kinds of combinations that help repel like oil. For some inspiration, try Cater's Clips on YouTube, titled Psychedelic Artworks with Oil Soap and Paint. It's all in the tie, or it's all in the dye, or it's all about that certain twist and fold. What it's really about is creating a barrier. Have you ever unveiled a tie-dye creation only to be disappointed? The unexpected can lead you to fashion or failure. Sometimes doing a partial puts you right in between. It doesn't say bold, but it doesn't say boring. Let's remember this as we paint. We don't have to tie-dye our entire canvas. We could do just a partial to enhance an object. Salt can be used with watercolor or acrylic washes. But make note, salt has a deteriorating quality. The effect we achieve with salt is texture. It also has a frozen feeling, like cracked ice. Or it can help us create a galaxy far, far away. Try using a spray bottle with your watercolor and acrylic washes over the salt lightly. You'll get two techniques in one. Let the paint dry and then brush the salt off. You'll see that the paint is gathered around the salt grain. The more techniques we know, the easier our painting becomes, and we can pull them out whenever we need them. Starch resist is common in the textile community and is commonly known as batik. It has a long history in Africa and Indonesia. But while they may use local, more traditional starches, you can use what's around the house. Flour or potato flakes will make a sufficient paste. While our oil resist is more circular and our salt resist more splotchy, we can be much more flexible with a starch resist. We can be more ornamental and decorative, or we can be rigid and create cracked patterns. It's more versatile, and wouldn't any of these patterns go great with a pair of denim? Isopropyl alcohol. Because it is a lower density than water, it evaporates much faster. We get almost the same effect as our salt resist, but we can manipulate it much more. We can almost paint with it as its own color. 
Try layering loose acrylic paint with droplets of rubbing alcohol. Do this over and over again. What have you achieved? I personally am using all these techniques this week to share with you on our next Facebook Live. I personally plan to use them as Christmas note cards and it's just another way to save in our pandemic crisis Christmas. A popular dish soap technique is currently circulating around the internet. This technique entails two to three colors of a base coat. Let it dry. Pour dish soap randomly over your surface and then spray paint. Simply wash the dish soap off to reveal your random pattern. If you've enjoyed our journey this week, discovering repel and resist techniques and finding different ways to accessorize your denim. Maybe a little more creative with your back to school season and don't stop searching for new techniques.